While the smells or sight of herbs may not put people in the mood for love, some research shows that the chemical properties of a handful of herbs have psychological effects that can benefit lovemaking. Some scientific evidence indirectly suggests that ginseng, ginkgo bilobia, yohambine, and an amino acid sold as a dietary supplement called arginine have positive effects on the libido. Here is a list of herbs that can improve your sex drive and promote sexual health. Some of these herbs are recognized as aphrodisiacs. To be safe, only use these herbs after consulting with a physician, especially if you are diabetic or have a heart condition. Damiana. This small green shrub with yellow flowers that are found throughout Mexico and South America. Indigenous people of this region have long used Damiana as an aphrodisiac. Fans of the TV show CSI Miami were introduced to Damiana when the herb was used in scenes where it was mixed with expensive chocolate. It's ideal for tea, and I'd recommend adding a sweet herb to it, such as peppermint or spearmint, since Damiana has a slightly bitter taste. Women who drink a cup of Damiana tea one or two hours before having sex experience a heightened pleasure. Do not take Damiana if you are diabetic. Gingo biloba, also known as the maidenhair tree, this shrub has been shown to increase circulation in blood vessels just below the surface without increasing blood pressure. So it's ideal use for erectile difficulties. Research has shown that gingo biloba, like ginseng, can also increase blood flow. In a study conducted, a group of men and women who suffered sexual problems as a side effect of taking antidepressants took 200 milligrams of ginkgo daily. 84% of them reported an improvement in sexual function. Yohambine. Yohambine appears to be the most scientific evidence directly linking to an improvement in sexual function. The herb comes from the bark of the tree native to Africa and was used in African cultures to stimulate erections. The herb not only appears to increase the blood flow, but it seems to have an effect on the brain's chemistry. However, this tree bark does not appear to come with a bite. It can raise blood pressure and boost effects of the blood pressure medications, a group of antidepressant drugs as well. Yohambine does not appear to be as effective among women. You need to wait about 30 minutes for Yohambine to take effect, and the effect lasts for several hours. Take safety measures when using Yohambine and use it responsibly. Talk to your doctor first. According to MotherNature.com website, to be safe if you have high blood pressure or diabetes, use Yohambine only under the care of a professional. Also, don't take it with diet aids, commercial nasal decongestions that contain ephedrine, or with cheese, red wine, or liver. Since combining any of these with Yohambine, the active ingredients in Yohambine sometimes causes side effects such as headaches. L-Arginine. Arginine is a small amino acid found naturally in many foods, including beef liver, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and raw almonds. While none of those may whet your sexual appetite, arginine is the key production of nitric oxide and therefore helps with the blood flow. This non-essential amino acid is used in sexual stimulants since people who have used it report longer and more intense orgasms. In men, L-arginine improves the blood flow, resulting in harder, bigger, and longer lasting erections. In women, L-arginine encourages the blood flow to the vaginal area, making the vaginal tissues and clitoris more sensitive and very responsive to sexual stimulation. Women who increase their L-arginine intake are better able to reach orgasm. Sarsaparilla. The root of this vitamin and mineral-packed vine aids both men and women in the production of sex hormones, testosterone, and progesterone. Ginseng. Long revered for its sexual properties, 
Ginseng promotes blood production and encourages the secretion of sex hormones in men and women. Ginseng strengthens a man's sex organs. It also boosts sexuality, circulation, and energy. Ginseng improves your vitality and general energy, so it's good to take it overall for other health reasons besides sexual, whether you're a male or a female. Some scientific evidence indicates ginseng, long used by many Asian societies as an aphrodisiac, improves blood circulation and healthy blood flow, which is the key to sexual arousal. Ginseng relaxes the artery walls, allowing blood to flow more easily. Viagra, the blockbuster anti-impotence drug, works in a similar way by increasing nitric oxide, which helps the arteries to relax. Ginseng also increases sperm count, though there was nothing found in published medical journals to substantiate that. Ginger, this tasty root, not the powdered spice variety, has been deemed an aphrodisiac for centuries because of its heady smell and the way in which it promotes circulation. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate also contains some arginine, which may sound more appealing than digging into a plate of beef liver. Chocolate has always been a top seller. Its history as an aphrodisiac goes back hundreds of years to the bygone cultures of Central America. Components of chocolate may influence serotonin, a chemical that affects the mood. However, when it comes to being in the right mood, all the chocolate, zinc and pumpkin pie is not going to help if you're not at the right psychological frame of mind to begin with. The brain is the biggest sex organ. If you feel good mentally, you're going to be much more sexually aroused. Mm -hmm.